And here is a property management job that we've been working on. This neighborhood happens to be one of the worst neighborhoods in the state of Florida. This is in the Woodville area. And I usually never work in Woodville, but I am doing it as a favor. And this is the third time at this property. Um, this job has been a complete disaster. Um, this job, we uh, previously filmed a garbage removal and haul. And um, then we once we removed all the garbage from inside the house and in the yard, um, we then cut the grass and we did all that and uh, did a lot of landscaping sort of th stuff, uh, trim trees, that sort of thing. And then um, we uh, proceeded to uh, do the painting and I completed the painting. And uh, after we got done with the painting, uh, the next day, apparently somebody uh threw a couple of bricks through three windows and um busted out the windows completely you'll see the the broken glass that i swept up and you'll st one of the windows is still busted we we got one fixed already but this job was postponed because we had to order three windows and Home Depot and Lowe's and and every store in our area didn't have those particular windows so we ended up having to order those windows online and apparently they had to be shipped from uh, Korea or something like that and uh, so it took it took a couple of months to get those windows in to install so uh, this was a really big job, um, and this is a really, you can see that's one of the busted windows out in the porch there. Uh, we did also, uh, remove the, uh, laminate flooring. They were buckling, and that floor right there is brand new, uh, flooring, laminate flooring. Kept the old laminate flooring in the bedrooms, but we, we, uh, we went ahead and, and changed them in the hallway and throughout the uh, living room. So today we're doing a cleanup. Still ha don't have anybody to uh, fix the two remaining windows left. The person who was supposed to fix it wasn't able to come yesterday. And we need to get this place cleaned up. So when we, uh, when we do this cleaning... When the windows are are installed, well, the old windows taken out and the new windows installed, um, they'll be very careful and clean up all the dirt and sawdust and broken glass that's going to be coming out of those windows when they remove it from the window frame. And here we're just, we did it all around cleanup today. Uh, and this this product the property like i said before it was uh completely trashed it had every everything imaginable inside the house and it took us several days to remove everything from the house and take it to the dump now the owner of this property wants to keep some of the furniture and there used to be living room furniture there but uh, before the windows were busted, somebody kicked the door down, the side door, and took the living room furniture and some of the bedroom furniture. So uh, it is missing furniture now. Um, this was going to be used as another rental house, but, but as you can see, no furniture. But that's, a, that's an easy fix. They'll probably just buy some cheap furniture. Uh, uh, you know, big lots or something. And the bed, you can see there, and the, those two, the dresser and the shelf they're keeping. 
nightstands they're going to be keeping also. And you can see we just mopped here, uh, finished mopping, and we did an all around uh, cleaning. And uh, so uh, right next door to this house, there's a meth lab. Um, and the police don't seem to care. Uh, this is one of the worst neighborhoods in Florida. Um, the, the neighborhood is so bad, the police don't come here. Uh, they don't, whenever there's a problem, whenever we had an issue with the, uh, the break-in and, and the busted windows, we called about the, uh, the stolen furniture. They didn't really seem to care. And the busted windows, they didn't do anything about. So not, not that they can do anything really, but you know, they didn't even file, like come, come to the house to file a report or anything. Uh, so here I am just getting all the uh, old uh, floor planks, putting in the trash can, and then I'm gonna put that on the uh, side of the road there for pickup. Uh, and that took me a good while to do. But yeah, so getting back to the neighborhood, there's a meth lab and as I was cleaning here, who knows what was going on uh, next door, but I could see about six or seven ladies go in the back with two gentlemen, uh, I'm calling them gentlemen, uh, uh, and they were rough looking. I don't know what, what was going on there. It looks like they got a little laboratory going on and they're cooking something, but uh, I'm not going to go there and uh, find out or even like get involved. Now, previously before, I had people harass me coming here. One guy had a hammer. Uh, I, I told him just to do just just back off. I you, you, believe me, you don't want to go this route. Uh, and and his his wife or girlfriend or whatever was like out of her mind. Luckily, she kind of was talking about suing the owner of this house, so he was distracted doing something else. Now, one guy that I had helping me out did get jumped out in the street and beaten uh, in the street. And um, on that, where I'm working at right now, uh, uh, two people have died on that porch there. Uh, I spoke to uh, one of the neighbors uh, down the street and they told me that like yeah two people died on that street they're they used to be good or that that particular porch another guy the that owns like that used to own the meth house he died out in the street like right in the front yard of this house and he just he just passed away he he like i don't know had some stroke or something and he died out there uh and that was uh about a month ago and uh so the gentleman that got beaten um he went to the cops and uh they again it's just there's so much crime there there's not really and i'm not blaming the police officers there's just not a whole lot they can do um when a place is so out of control uh and this street this whole neighborhood it's out of control um you know, meth is a terrible drug, and apparently they have some other new drug on the market that, that makes people really crazy and dangerous. Uh, the, the girl that threw the, the brick through the uh, windows, it was a girl, we know who it is. Um, she was on this particular drug, and she was crazy. She was just insane. Nobody could stop her. Um, and, uh, the person that broke in the house and stole the furniture, uh, we have him on camera and went to the police, but again, they didn't really want to get involved too much. Um, and understandably, you know, like they, they, they arrest him, 
he'll probably stay the weekend in jail. They let him out. You know, there's just, you know, this is this is the panhandle of Florida. You know, this is uh, this area part this part of Woodville is just uh, very crime ridden. So, you know, the the law enforcement has to pick their battles. And um, so this part that was the the bricks I'm holding right here is the bricks that went through the window. That used those used to be in the house. <laughs> Uh, and so the evidence I'm throwing away, uh, and I want to get rid of those bricks in case somebody else wants to uh, have a little fun on the windows. But you see there, that one window we still got to fix, and then the bathroom window in the back needs to be fixed too. Um, thought about soft washing this job, uh, soft washing this home, but it has extensive wood rot, and I'm just thinking you know it's kind of a waste of money uh for the client um and there you see the porch she compared to the before and after but like i said i don't do these kind of jobs really i'm doing it as a favor and and i'm being compensated well for it but i i would always turn down a job like this um i'm not interested in all that drama or all this weird hard work that that I have to do but the video's over and uh I thank you for watching and take care